Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this uh, Saturday Bitcoin uh, TA. Currently we are still trading here in this $10,400 area and it looks like that we're gonna have a quiet weekend. First off, before we start, remember that today we're gonna select our lucky winner of the weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. Uh, the video is gonna come later here on uh, YouTube and uh, of course also if you want to uh, see my indicator in my 24 7 stream then contact me over on discord and of course also join the discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description all right so let's start here in the one hour time frame because nothing much has changed since uh, yesterday we closed the cmes at ten thousand six hundred dollar so wherever we are going through the weekend uh, we're gonna most likely retrace to these uh, levels here and if not we're gonna have a new future gap depending if we're gonna see a pump or dump during the weekend so here in the one hour you can see that currently we're having the 20 moving average as a resistance here at 10,440 and if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're trading on the lower end so we are trading on the bearish side we also have the stochastic here in oversold condition and MACD flat so also here it looks like that we're just gonna stay in this $10,400 range here for the next couple of hours and maybe through all the weekend. As you can also see, I got stopped out in profits from my long trade. I still think that most likely on next week we're gonna have a potential pump towards 11K and maybe even higher. It's only gonna depend if first we're gonna close the CME gap at $9,600 or not. The gap is still opened and I think this gap most likely will get filled within this coming week and there we're gonna see a possible bounce to the upside again. And now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because here we can see that we are still in quite oversold condition. The RSI is currently still oversold. We are trading below all the moving averages. So if we're gonna see a bounce here, then watch out for the 20 moving average here at 10,750. We don't have to go necessarily up there during the weekend, but if so, then watch out for this price level. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, here also you can see that currently we are trading right at the first moving average here. So from here on it is possible that we could see a possible bounce to the upside towards this $10,800. And if we're going to fail here to push through $10,400, then watch out for the bottom here at $9,800, which in my opinion is very likely to be reached. And that's why I also used a stop loss yesterday, because as long as the CME gap down at $9,600 is still opened, it is very likely that first we're going to feel that gap but of course if you can manage to keep up the trade alive then you can already start to scale in longs right now it's up to you if you want to enter right now or later once the gap is filled and remember if you want to trade also bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage you can use the links that you find down below here in the video description because if you sign up to those exchanges with my links you can get some sign up bonus as well and of course you support the channel and uh, now if we have a look here into the MACD, you can see that we're coming here to a very oversold area and it looks like that we could have here a bullish cross coming up pretty soon if we're gonna stay in this uh, region here. If we're gonna have a drop towards $9,800, then I think the MACD will continue to drop lower. But if here we are able to maintain this $10,400, I think here we could see a bullish cross and a possible bounce to the upside towards this $10,800, potentially even higher towards $11,500. But since big moves on the weekend, I don't trust too much. I will probably not trade this, so I'm probably just gonna wait till Monday, because as I told you, I think at the beginning of next week, we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside. The question is only if first we're going down to fill the CME gap or not. And uh, therefore we can go over to the daily time frame because here you can see that we are once more trading below the 50 and 20 daily moving average. We didn't even go up here to test these moving averages. So since we dropped below, so far we didn't test the 50 and 20 and it is very likely that we are going up to retest these two moving averages here at $11,000. That's why I think if we're gonna see a bounce right now to the upside in this coming week, 
watch out for these moving averages up here at eleven thousand dollar because they could act as a huge resistance if we go down to correct to close the cme gap down here at around nine thousand six hundred dollar maybe even test the 200 moving average here at nine thousand one hundred dollar it is very likely that there we're going to see a big bounce to the upside and i'm sure that there is a lot of traders and buyers waiting for the cme gap to get filled to go back in once the CME gap is filled. So they will buy all in again once this gap is filled and potentially also the 200 daily moving average here at $9,100 here on the spot price is tested. So I think in this region down here, it is very wise to open up long positions and also buy back into Bitcoin if you took out some profits up here. If we're gonna drop lower, then maybe this is really the last opportunity to buy really cheap Bitcoin. But since in the bigger picture we are in an uptrend, I don't think that we will go that low, that we will lose the 200 daily moving average. But it is very possible that we even go down to this region and bounce from the 200 daily moving average before we're gearing up for the next big move. But you see that also here the RSI is very oversold currently. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, we are still overshooting it to the downside. So maybe before we are going to fill the CME gap, we could see a potential bounce to the upside, retest 11K and then drop down towards 9K. That is possible since this drop here was quite huge and fast. But if you want to trade the safe way, then maybe wait till the CME gap is filled and we maybe bounce from the 200 daily moving average if we are coming down to this moving average. It is possible that we just drop down to 9,500, 9,600 and then correct immediately up. But usually when the gap is filled, we don't immediately bounce again to the upside. Most of the times we overshoot the target. So that doesn't mean that at 9,600 we have to stop and go straight back up. It is possible that we drop even lower. And in that case, my target would be the 200 daily moving average at 9,100 dollar. Also stochastic and MACD is looking like that we could come here to an end here pretty soon. We still have some room left to the downside. We are still shifted to the downside, but sooner or later, as soon as we start to consolidate, I think we're gonna build up a nice base and floor to bounce again and retest 12K and potentially go way, way higher. And uh, at the end, we're also gonna have a look into the weekly time frame because here once more, you can see that currently we bounced perfectly from the 20 weekly moving average. Like I told you many videos, Bitcoin likes to test the 20 weekly moving average during a bull run, but there is also a high chance that we could even a week down below this moving average, maybe even go down to test the 50 moving average at $8,700 before we're gearing up here for another big leg up. The important thing is just that we are not closing a weekly candle below the 20 weekly moving average, because in that case, everything could be looking way worse than we thought, same like we had here in March, when we closed below the 20 weekly moving average and then we had this huge dump. Also here in the past, usually when we had a close below the 20 weekly, this always signaled that we're gonna see some continuation to the downside. So as long as we are just wicking below the 20 weekly and don't have a weekly close, everything is good to go to the upside. So watch out for this possible week to the downside. If we're coming straight back up again, then this will not only fill the CME gap, but also will confirm us that we are still on the way to the upside and if we go over into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are perfectly matching my bearish targets here between these two moving averages we bounced from this last one at nine thousand eight hundred dollar but as i told you it is very likely that we're gonna have a week to the downside or maybe even test here the bottom at around eight thousand dollar before we're gearing up here for the next big move to the upside but so far, I don't think we will go lower than $9,000. I think the 200 daily moving average should save us in case that we are overshooting the CME gap. The only problem is really that currently the RSI, Stochastic and MACD is looking really toppy and if here we're gonna correct a lot. So if we have to cool off first the Stochastic, MACD and RSI before we're coming up again for another big move to the upside, this could take the Bitcoin price way lower, so towards eight to $7,000. I don't think it will happen, but there is still room left to the downside if we're gonna have a major correction to the downside. But where I'm gonna buy in again is at around $9,000. If we drop lower than that, I'm just gonna put some fresh fiat in there to take advantage to buy such cheap Bitcoin. But as I told you guys, probably we will not go that low.
and of course we also have to keep an eye always what the DXY is doing currently the DXY is also not trading like the CME so we're gonna have to see what will happen here on Monday because here I'm still expecting a possible dump here towards this 92 dollars and that would mean that on Bitcoin we most likely gonna have another leg to the upside hopefully we're gonna first fill the cme gap at 9600 but it's also possible that first we're going to have another bounce to the upside before maybe we're coming down to close the cme gap so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget if you want to take advantage on my own indicator where it gives you some buy and sell signals if you want to do some short-lived trades over on bybit for example then contact me over on discord because there i have the 24 7 stream of my indicator where you can trade based on my indicator it just costs you a little donation of 0.01 bitcoin and you can get access to it forever so if you're interested then please feel free to contact me over on discord so thank you again very much for watching my friends please moon up the likes subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye